So I just want to show y'all the cards from the extended, just a couple of them. Of course, I'm not going to go through it, but like we had all four aces come out in the extended and there's been a good bit of Leos that I have done readings for personal readings and they've gotten all four aces as well. So I love to see this for the collective, but major, major messages in the extended. So I, I don't usually do this, but I want y'all to know if you, if you got the feeling that you want to get the extended, you should do so because this was a fire extended. All right. Peace Leos. Hi Leo, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Just want to say thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel with comments. The last video had tons of comments and I enjoyed reading them. So I appreciate all the support. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get into a love reading. We're going to see how your person is feeling towards you. Uh, there will be an extended. I feel like there's a, you know, I'm going to do an extended for the next 90 days because I really want to focus on, I'm going to, I'm not going to take those. Some of you are done with a water sign or an air sign. Um, for the next 90 days, which is this uh, Venus retrograde in Leo that is coming up. She actually is starting to go retrograde in Leo. Uh, that is her sidereal and Western astrology. I may do a transit reading on it. I'm not sure. Let me know if you all would be interested in a Venus retrograde transit reading. Um, I usually post those on Instagram. They're just like to me easier to post on Instagram, but uh, let me know. Okay, so let's see how your person is feeling about you, Leo. All right, I think I'm ready. Leo, I wanted to get you guys a good shuffle so you can see your cards being shuffled out. And let's see what's happening for Leo. Like, how's your person feeling about you? That three of cups wanted to show itself earlier. So we have the nine of pentacles and we have the three of cups. The nine of pentacles has been our card. Has it not like literally every reading now? So I wanted to shuffle the cards so y'all see that the cards are doing what they want right now. Okay. So honestly, Leo, this person sees you as thriving. They see you as doing great. Uh, they see you as people wanting to be around you. Like... You got it going on right now in this person's mind, okay? they. Some of you, this is somebody who's in another relationship. Well, maybe they are in another relationship. But for a lot of you, some of you, this person sees you with someone else and they still want to be with you. I have to be careful looking at the bottom of the deck because I never know if it's going to be like the star card or the lovers, you know, just full frontal. Um, but yeah, like... Okay, so I'm getting two messages. Some of you are already in a relationship and there's someone who is not an, who's not your person, right? Like an outside third party that wants you. They may, if, especially if you're married, they want you to get a divorce, okay? So just know that there are, there's someone out there that wants you, okay? Um, and then for others of you, this is someone who's in a relationship that wants you. Because we have a third party here one way or the other. I just don't know if it's Leo's third party or if it's this person. But the two of wands and the three of cups are definitely... Um, yeah, and the nine of cups just showed itself. So somebody's being selfish. The song P&B Rock, uh, Selfish, just came to my head. So somebody wants you all to their self. And some of you, they have no right to want that because they're in a relationship or you're in a relationship. So let's see. Get more about this. The King of Cups. Yeah, they're like smitten with you. I'm surprised if the Queen of Wands doesn't come out or the King of Wands. He's always stalking the Queen of Wands. So this person could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Capricorn, possibly Aquarius. Because there's so many people reading, I try to get as many energies as I can pull. Those are the cards. Maybe Virgo too. Okay, clarify the Three of Cups. But this person's unconditionally in love with you. Like... Honestly, I think it even bothers them a little bit how much they love you. Some of you, this person may be older than you, especially if they're older than you. They're like, how did Leo get me so captivated? Could be a cancer. All right. So I don't know. This could be somebody that you've had to block at some point. Um, yeah, like the tower and the chariot. Some sort of block or obstacle was put up either through another person or literally you block this person or something like that. You may have unblocked them since. Some of you may literally be in communication with them with the Ace of Swords. But keep in mind, this is like, I'm getting, like, even the Three of Cups is telling me that the next 90 days is, is the best. The Venus retrograde energy is the best because that's like the next 90 days we're going to be dealing with, okay? So, yeah, somebody is coming towards you. It's like a boundary was placed. Somebody may be getting a divorce, though. So just know that if they're, if someone is in a relationship, you know, that you know, they're married and they want to be with you, they're headed for like a divorce or a separation. Um, and I don't, I say that lightly because on our lives, someone got triggered about divorce talk, which I don't mean it's a real, it's a reality. I'm sorry, but 
look i don't y'all see the cards coming out on their own i ain't got time oh yeah by the way i'm having a one dollar special on my rich kitchen which uh etsy it's my money etsy they're gonna be on until i wake up so if you guys want to check out a dollar fortune reading to support my etsy it's in the bio i forgot to mention that at the beginning i'll try to remember there's the star card but naked so yeah whoever this is coming towards you they have high hopes for the connection between the two of you okay they just have high hopes overall like they feel you are the one for them they don't care what obstacles are in the way some of you like i said you're single and they see people wanting to be around you okay what's this i'm just scared to see yeah i'm telling you they watch you <laughs> They watch you, okay? Like, I'm getting one particular person. For some of you, it could be more than one. You have the Magician King of Cups. could be two different people. But I'm picking up on the strongest energy of someone who is unconditionally in love with you. That watches you. And something happened recently that has lit a fire under this person's behind. Whether this be, you know, you blocking them and setting boundaries. A lot of you, I feel like it was some sort of boundary that you set, okay? You've kind of took the rug from under them they didn't expect some sort of like communication block or boundary that you placed some of you there's been an intense level up for you or there will have been an intense level up for you over the next 90 days some of you i can let you know now my money leos this next this venus retrograde is going to do very well for you financially um all right so like i was saying um some of you if you are a money leo just know that um, and it's interesting because now I have to say that again. I was going to say things that maybe didn't work out before will start to work out during this Venus retrograde, okay? So you may have some maybe missed opportunities coming back around or a chance to redo something, especially if you run a business or you maybe you want to try to get a business off the ground. Um, your finances are, there's like some sort of level up here. Also your body too. Some of you are going to like drop a good bit of weight or tone your body over the next 90 days. You're going to be really focused on that. So the Ace of Swords is kind of telling the story for you, Leo, that I feel there's some victory and success that is really bringing this person towards you. It's not because they're interested in your success. It's just that you're becoming even more attractive with the Nine of Pentacles, like hard to resist, especially since for with the Magician here, this person is most likely like on a soulmate level for you. At, you know what I mean? Like then with the Temperance card, I feel like Spirit maybe wants you two together. So it's hard to resist you at this time. So... How do they feel about you? They feel like they need to make the, the changes necessary to be in a relationship. For those of you who do spiritual work for your love life, it is working. For those of you who have written some sort of petition for your love life, that is happening for you. Okay, if, Even if you want to meet someone new, there's a good chance that someone is being drawn to you, like moving to your city or taking a contract or a job in your city, and you two will connect. But for a lot of you, this person already knows you. Just because of the Page of Swords here, they are keeping tabs on you. And I feel like I just keep getting a level up. The Knight of Pentacles. Some of you, it's fame. Like, especially for those who are manifesting power or fame, you're going to, like, level up significantly. Look at that. The Knight of Pentacles, the star, and the Ace of Swords. And it's like, this person's like, if I don't move now, and I've been getting this. So, if it's someone you're not in communication with, then communication is going to be coming in in the next 90 days. Look at this. We have unfinished business. Okay? You see that? unfinished business so this ain't over leo that's that's what i have to tell you look good time not long time that's a three of cups again so some sort of third party influence literally look at this card stop playing with me leos i can't show y'all because look and the flash just went off but like they're kind of naked but if you can see there of course the flash went off but third party boom i literally just said that these are not parlor tricks, sir, and ma'ams. I am literally psychic, <laughs> okay? Yeah, I feel like somebody thinks you have a third party and it is bothering them. I feel like somebody's mad over a third party. I think this person sees you with a third party. Whether they have someone or not, they are not cool with this. Or they feel like there is too many people in your face, Leo. You are level. You're just going too far with it. Like, nah, they got to shoot their shot or else... So, like I said, the signs that I see here are definitely Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, or Virgo. Okay, any sign really doesn't matter. It's a general reading, but yeah. 
Okay, so not playing. This ain't over though, Leo. Some of y'all think it's over with this person, but there's unfinished business. And I feel like unfinished business is y'all being in a relationship with this person. But only if you want to. If you don't want this person, please don't let me know because then it's just not for you and that's fine. <laughs> I don't, you know, I'm not, I, I'm not for everyone. It's fine. But you don't need to announce that this reading doesn't resonate. It's just weird. Um, okay, so this is going to be for your extended. We're going to look at the next 90 days, what's going to happen in this connection. We've really been looking at how this person feels, their perception and perspective of things, but we're actually going to be seeing what, how is this progressing, the actions they're going to be taking, you know, really getting the details in the extended. So if you want to check out the extended, please do so. The link is in the description box, as well as, um, $1 fortune reads on my, uh, money Etsy. It is in the description box as well. Um, anything you need from me should be in the description box. Okay. Please make sure you pay attention to my brunch that we are having during Leo season, August 12th. It will be in Atlanta. So if you are in the area, if you want to perform at it, if you are a reader, if you are a poet, if you do music and you want to do some vending or whatever, let me know, please email me at harley at harleysworld13.com. I am very interested in getting some talent and we are going to be having a great time. I have goodie bags for y'all. I've actually been speaking to someone to be a guest speaker so we can talk to y'all about getting your work out there for creative. So it's something I've really been wanting to do and I'm just going to do it and I really, really hope it's successful. So if you guys want to support me in other ways other than tarot, you know, for those who really just support Harley, that would be a great way to support, um, you know, or if you don't want to come to Atlanta, you know someone here, please let them know about it, okay? I'll see y'all in the extended. Peace.